repeat sex offender has learned that he will not be getting out of prison next year as originally expected. Utah's Board of Pardons and Parole rescinded his parole after reporting from the KSL investigators. Danielle Rivera has been following this case extensively and what led up to the parole board's reversal here through your failure to protect series here. This is big news. This case has been quite the ordeal. So last November, Byron Thad Hatterley was sentenced to serve up to 15 years in a case where his ex-wife, Cammy Johnson, reported that he drugged and sexually assaulted her. But just three short months after that sentencing, she learned the parole board had decided to grant his release. And they made that decision without hearing from his multiple victims. That changed this week. For years, Cammie Johnson has been navigating a system she never asked to be part of. You can't even describe how emotionally and physically and mentally exhausting it is. Being a survivor in Utah's criminal justice system. It's awful to have to go tell your story again and again and again. Even so, in March, Cammie was grateful for the opportunity to speak to Utah's parole board. Her family and friends packed the room for a special victim impact hearing. The board had previously granted Byron Thad Hatterley's release set for February 2025, but that decision was made without the voices of his victims. A letter notifying Cammie of that original hearing was returned to sender. At another parole hearing, this week, Cammie spoke again and Hatterley asked to be released again. I just would like an opportunity to, to move forward and, and, and try to do something outside of being incarcerated, sir. In a newly released decision, there's no parole date. Instead, the board ordered Hatterley to return for another hearing in three years. The board's reasoning includes that Hatterley's crimes are characterized by extreme cruelty or depravity, and he caused substantial physical or psychological injuries to multiple victims. What a difference it makes to attend those hearings and to be able to have your voice heard. After months of uncertainty, there's relief. Honestly, three years is my whole life. Three years is we can sleep at night. That is three years that we know that we're not going to be stopped. That is three years of freedom. Now, we reported that the Board of Pardons and Parole is working on a new victim notification system. I'm told this evening they're making progress with that effort, and they expect to go live with the first phase of that project this fall. And the board is also in the final phase of hiring a new director of public outreach and transparency. Now, if there's something you want our team to investigate, call or text the number there on your screen or send me an email. That's daniella at ksl.com. Great reporting on that, doing a lot of good, and we're seeing that today. So. Great to see impact there. Yeah, without question. Daniela, thank you.